What's up everybody, NT Certified here and today is Tuesday and we are back at it again with some more WWE action figure pickups. This batch I'm pretty excited about, a little bit different from the norm so I'm happy to get into it. Let's go. So I am literally, literally not figuratively, literally about to get out of my work clothes, hop in some comfy clothes, hop in my vehicle, and run to the Toys R Us to see what new figures that I can find. I saw an Isaac Yankum DDS figure online, and I believe it may be in stores, so I want to go and check that out. But Let's get into what I have right now, and we are going to start with some WWE Zombie Series figures. Now, I got almost all of the last line of zombies, but there were a couple of them that I didn't like. But this new line that they have, I like these a lot. So, the first one that I have is an AJ Styles. This is zombified AJ Styles. So the other figures in the line include Stone Cold Steve Austin, Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, Sasha Banks, and Brock Lesnar. And this is AJ Styles in his black and blue AJ Styles attire. I think all of AJ's attires are really cool. Whoever designs his stuff does a really good job because it always looks really, really good. Second one that I have, and I've been searching for a figure for this female forever. I could never find her in stores. And finally, I've gotten one. It's not a regular or an elite, but it is a zombie figure. But nonetheless, I have a Sasha Banks figure, which is, I'm just super, super excited to finally find a Sasha Banks figure. And, and this is a decent figure. If you notice on the front, it says uh, legit undead, which is, you know, a, a zombie term. But overall, I think the figure is decent. I mean, it, it doesn't have, like, a lot of detail, not the usual Sasha attire, but it works. Next up, in his white attire, this is really nice, by the way. I have uh, a zombie Seth Rollins. Now this one is really nicely done. I like the white color scheme. Also like that they ripped apart the flesh at the feet. So he has one foot where you see his flesh and then the knee where you see his flesh there. And then his body is like fully intact other than it's, it's green. But I, I really like this figure. I think it's, it's really well put together. Next up, I have a basic figure. I saw this in Target, I want to say about a week ago, and picked this up. This is WWE Raw Kane. Actually, this isn't even a Raw Kane. This is just like a WWE version Kane. They have Raw, SmackDown, NXT, WWE, and uh, the women's division. And this is the Kane. So this is... Kane when he first came into WWF back in 1997? 1997. Yeah, Bad Blood 1997 was, is when Kane arrived and it was a big deal. Like he popped up out of nowhere with Paul Bearer and that's, that's classic, classic wrestling. If you have WWE Network, Watch Bad Blood 1997, Shawn Michaels vs. The Undertaker for the WWF Championship in the very first Hell in a Cell match. And I hate to spoil it, but at the end, Kane shows up. And the last figure that I had for these pickups, this is a WWE Elite, and this was, or this is, a GameStop exclusive. Happened to be in GameStop. And I happened to look onto the wall and I saw the list of Jericho. <laughs> now, if you don't know me, Chris Jericho is probably my favorite wrestler of all time. Him and Edge are 
my my top two favorite wrestlers of all time. They can do no wrong in my eyes. And they will always be my favorite two wrestlers ever. Now, this is the coolest Jericho, in my opinion. The list of Jericho, when he got really snotty, started wearing the scarves and the light-up scarves, carrying, carrying around the list, of course, the list of Jericho. And the thing that I like about this figure is, one, the box. The box is completely different from all of the other figures. Of course, it has, like, the... Um, like the the stones or whatever that made up his like entrance like the sparkly stones and on the back is an actual list of Jericho like really I mean how much cooler can you get than that and then I'll read a couple of them on here so the first one is Mick Foley it says worst GM in raw history also terrible fashion sense uh, WWE fan in Memphis Tennessee Enzo Amore and Big Cass, also The Shining Stars, The New Day, and The Club. And then it, on the side it says, List of Stupid Idiots. The Cameraman During Highlight Reel with KO, Wrong Side to Shoot. And then it says, Enzo Amore and Big Cass, Second Time, Interrupting Y2J and KO. It says, Enzo, Not Esno. And then it says, Seth Rollins, Injured Again. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Kofi Kingston questioning Y2J and KO's friendship. Big E not allowing Y not allowing Y2J to the champions huddle. Xavier Woods for laughing. Xavier Woods for making joke of Y2J's best friend Kevin Owens. People who don't appreciate a good scarf. Stephanie McMahon with a line through her name. He took her back off the list. AJ Styles equals stupid soccer mom hair. Friendship with Clown. Or Friendship the Clown. Remember Friendship the Clown? Next uh, we have WWE Action Figure Collector going to get it. And then it has a um, an arrow that says you. So I guess that's me. I'm a stupid idiot now. I'm on the list, guys. I made the list. <laughs> and then at the bottom it says go. And then it says me which is uh, Chris Jericho. So that that's really cool. A nice touch for the figures. But those are my pickups for the last week or so. Like I said, I'm about to go out and look for some others. So as always, this is NT Certified. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and as always, subscribe to my channel. Become a part of the Certified Club. We do multiple videos a week. We do wrestling on this side. We do gaming on this side. And we do everything else here in the middle. Follow me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch. I will be streaming Destiny 2 on Wednesday, tomorrow. So keep an eye out on that. Until next time, thanks for watching. Peace.